from Kimpatsu Cosplay here, and in this video we're going to show you guys how to make gold edging using EVA foam and fabric. We recently made a Star Guardian Zaya costume, and this costume is covered in gold edging. This is quite a common design element in a lot of characters, and we do it quite a bit on our costumes, so we decided to make a video to show you guys how to do it. If you guys would like the more in-depth cosplay tutorials and cosplay patterns to help you with your own costumes, check out our website at kimpatsucosplay.com. Okay, let's get to the video. To create the gold edging, you will first need to make some patterns for it. We usually try to get our costume mostly sewn first so we can use tape to make patterns on top of it. Put your garment on a dress form, or if the outfit is super tight, put it on yourself. Then you can start laying down the tape where the gold edging will go and draw out the shape of the edging. You can then remove your tape and cut out the patterns. The patterns can be traced onto 1 to 2 mm EVA foam and cut out with a pair of sharp scissors or a craft knife. Once you've cut out your EVA foam strips, you can spray the back of them with a can of spray adhesive. You can also spray some glue onto the back of your fabric. Since spray adhesive can be quite bad for you, please make sure you follow the manufacturer's specified safety precautions. You can then lay the tacky side of the EVA foam onto the back of your fabric and press it down smoothly. For our gold edging, we use gold foil spandex. To ensure that the pieces stick together and that the edges are crisp, you will need to lightly iron over them. Set your iron to a low setting so you don't burn the foam and the fabric. And with a piece of baking paper over the fabric, iron it flat for a couple of seconds. Now that your foam has been glued to the fabric, you will need to cut them. For straight pieces, cut around the foam piece, leaving about 1 cm of fabric. When you get to the ends of the foam piece, cut the fabric diagonally at the corner, about 1 mm away from the foam to compensate for the thickness of the foam. If you're making pieces that will join to each other and don't need to be finished, you can just cut the fabric at the edge of the foam. Apply contact glue to the edge of the foam where the fabric will attach with a brush or a foam scrap. Let the glue get tacky. You can speed this process up with a heat gun or a hairdryer. Now you can fold over the edges of the fabric. We use a popsicle stick to help press the fabric down smoothly. Once the edges are pressed down, you can pinch the corners and snip off the excess. For pieces that come to a point, you can again cut the fabric 1 cm around the foam. For the inner point, cut away the fabric at an angle towards the point, leaving 1 mm of fabric in the corner. You can then snip through the fabric all the way to the foam at the corner so it can fold correctly. Now you can glue the foam and carefully fold the fabric over. For the outer point, cut away the fabric at an angle again towards the point, leaving 1mm of fabric to cover the foam. You can then glue the foam and fold the fabric over. Pinch the fabric at the point together and snip off the excess. For concave curves, you will need to cut slits in the fabric along the curve 1mm away from the foam. You will need more slits for a sharper curve. Glue the foam and then carefully fold the fabric over. The slits will open up as you fold. For convex curves, you will need to cut notches in the fabric along the curve 1mm away from the foam. Once you have cut out your notches, you can then glue the foam and carefully fold the fabric over. The notches will give the fabric space to compress as you fold it down. To finish all of your gold edges, iron over them again lightly and put a book or something heavy on them to allow them to cool flat and smooth. If you want to add some extra details to the edges, you can also sew over them with your sewing machine. Just make sure your glue is dry so that it doesn't gum up your needle. To attach the gold edging to the costume, you can sew it into place or you can just glue them on like us with more contact glue. Apply a bit of glue to your costume piece and to the back of the gold edging. Then you can carefully lay them on and press them into place. And now your gold edges are done. This kind of EVA foam edging is really easy to do and super versatile. The edging at the end looks really neat and clean and can really take a costume to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. We'll see you guys next time with more costuming tips and tutorials. Bye guys!